Hi, this is Lanner Smith from Sense Memory. It's another Friday night in San Francisco, or as we sometimes call it, Baghdad by the Bay. And tonight, I'm having another cocktail, and tonight's cocktail is a Cosmopolitan. Now, Cosmopolitan is two ounces of vodka, a half ounce of triple sec, a three quarters of an ounce of cranberry juice, um, and a half an ounce of fresh lime. And then you shake it up in a shaker over ice, pour it into your glass, Add a twist of orange and you've got yourself a beautiful, delicious, delicious um, cosmopolitan. And I, of course, have to add something to it. So I put in cherry and some um, mandarin orange. So it's really delicious. So tears. That was really bad. Tonight I'm going to be uh, trying a couple of, well three exactly, uh, samples that were sent to me by uh, one of the uh, guys who follows me here on uh, YouTube, and that would be Wags Bass. And he's also a member of, uh, in good standing, of the fragrance community on Facebook. So I wanted to thank you, David, for sending me these wonderful samples. He sent me about 15 samples or so of some incredible things, and I chose three to uh, to um, give my first impressions on tonight. So the very first one we're going to be trying out is Ambrette Number no. 9 by Le Labo. There you can see it. I got it upside down. There we go. Ambrette Number no. 9. Um, the uh, notes, uh, it's not listed on who the, uh, the perfumer is, and I do know from personal experience that when you go to a, a, a uh, some place, for, for instance, like Barney's, where they have a a um, Le Labo uh, lab set up. That's all of the ingredients are there, and they mix them right in the bottle for you. So um, there's a recipe they follow, and it always comes off the same. So let's give this a little bit of a try. Now the notes in here it was launched actually in 2006, and the notes uh, are. Uh, features amber, fruity notes, amalfi lemon, ambrette, muskmallow. Ambrette comes from a plant that grows in India, and it's a, a substitute for for animal musks, and uh, it's quite often used uh, in, in that aspect. And then there's also musk and aldehyde, so let's give it a try. Well, it's very subtle. It's not, it's not blasting off of my skin at all. And I you know I'm glad to say that the fruity notes are not overpowering or, or super sweet. So there's a nice, uh, a, a nice level of green kind of fruity notes going in there. The Amalfi lemon is very subtle. It's a, an overall a very subtle nice fragrance. Not something that's knocking my socks off per se, but I would say it's nice enough. It's a nice enough uh, um, Le Labo. I've tried other Le Labos that impress me much more, but that is very nice and safe. I would say a safe fragrance. Now the other two I'm really excited to try. Look at this beautiful box that it came in. There's two samples in this. These are both from the Hermesens line by Hermes and uh, they're both by Jean-Claude Elena, and they were both launched in 2004. Look at these incredible little vials that they came in, and really, really beautiful. So, let's see, the first one I'm going to be doing, this one is Hermesens Venille Galante, and that means gallant vanilla in French, and uh, the notes involved here are vanilla, floral notes, woodsy, spicy notes, cognac, 
tobacco, cacao, and white musk. Now, this might be something that Jerry might enjoy um, from Jerry Productions because he was looking for, as you remember from the last time, he was looking for um, something that had uh, um, tobacco and uh, a boozy kind of vibe going on that, that ladies might like. And this is both for men and for women. Now, you know, I don't really like dabbers like this because it's it's not as good as spraying it on. Okay, here we go. Oh. Wow. David, this is a home run. Wow, I'm not a big fan of vanilla, but this is done beautifully. And you know, floral notes, it's the woods and the vanillas, and there's spices in this, really great spices. It's um, it's an oriental. It's very oriental. And the cognac is just floating in the background there. I'm not picking up any tobacco yet. And there's a little bit of chocolate, yeah. But it really is a, a really strong vanilla, but not cloying vanilla. It's really beautiful. Really, really gorgeous, a gorgeous scent. Now let's try the, the third one in the list, and that is um, Hermesens Pouvre Samarkand. Now that means um, uh, a poivre, I'm sorry, I mispronounced that. Uh, that means uh, pepper in French, so it's Samarkand pepper, and Samarkand is a country in, in uh, the Middle East. So where can I put it? Let's, let's try it here. Okay, here we go. Get a big one there. Well, there's a pepper. It really is peppery. Um, and there's oak moss. Did I mention what the notes were? Patchouli, caraway, green notes, oak moss, Virginia cedar, pepper, and oak. Patchouli and pepper. Patchouli and pepper. Really lovely, but but not quite as exciting as, as this vanilla. Vanilla Galant. It's very nice. But I would say, oh, middle of the road for me. Not something that is, that I just have to uh, run out and buy. So uh, those are the three that I've tried. I'll be trying some other ones by, by um, Wags Bass. And I wanted to thank you again, David, for sending those to me. And um, so this is Lionel Smith from Sense Memory saying, remember, wherever to love and not what they say you should like. Talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, I forgot to tell you there's a PS to this one, and that is that I received something in the mail today from another uh, friend of mine, a really wonderful woman from um, Brisbane, Australia, and her name is Natalie Patel. A lot of you know Natalie and enjoy her wonderful, wonderful reviews. She's just such a lovely, talented, articulate, fun person, and she has a great family. So hello, Natalie and Marley and Ron, and I hope to see you in San Francisco soon. But this came from Natalie today. Now, I did take a little sneak peek, but then I didn't open it. She sent me some samples, but I thought, you know, I want to do this one justice. So I will open this on a soon, open this on, an, on another video, and um, we'll find out what Natalie sent to me. So thank you, Natalie, and love you all. Talk to you soon. Bye. You know, this, uh, this vanilla, mmm, this vanilla galant is so delicious, and I love it so much, I really, it just makes me want to dance. Mm -hmm.